Hi, this is Mrs. Peters from Lincoln, and I'm going to show you how to tune your viola with a chromatic tuning app. The first thing you're going to want to do is put the bow down so you can plot the strings, so you can hear whether they're close. So I'm going to plot starting with the C, and to me, the A string sounds very flat. So since my A string was not close enough to use the chromatic tuner, what I need to do is, is adjust it. It's quite far off, so it should be twinkle, twink. That's not even close. So what I would then do is I would turn the peg. And when you turn the peg, if you only turn, in the winter particularly, if you only turn it, it's likely to slip. You want to make sure that you're plucking the string as you turn it. And you want to make sure that as you turn it, you push it into the peg box. Because these pegs are not held by glue, they're held by friction. And particularly in the winter, when the wood tends to get dry, it tends to shrink. And what happens is that the hole gets bigger and the peg gets smaller. So then you need to push the peg in while you're turning it. I'm making this video in the summer, so I'm not having a big problem with that. Now I'm ready to use the chromatic tuner, and I've downloaded a tuning app to my cell phone. And right now you can see that as I talk, the tuner changes letters. You need to know the names of your strings in order to use the tuner. So the string I'm going to use, play is an A. And I'll put the tuner on the music stand and I will bow the A. So in class, you would probably have the music stand in front of you, but this is the way of showing it. As I bow the A, it's indicating that it's flat because the light is not green. I'm holding my instrument with my shoulder rest. I highly recommend if you're trying to tune that you use a shoulder rest. You're going to need to bring your right hand around like this to where your fine tuner is, and then you're going to need to bow, up bow at the tip, so it's fairly quiet, and you will turn the tuner, the fine tuner, to the right until the light is green on the phone. Sometimes it's easier for the phones to pick up an echo. So if you do an up bow very lightly at the tip, take your bow off the string, it's going to be easier for it to hear. Then you would do that, I don't have fine tuners on the other strings, so I'm not going to demonstrate them, but you would do that with each of the following strings, A, D, G, and C. Now I'm going to show you the more advanced way to tune. I already have my A string in tune, and I've tuned my fine tuner. This is a fairly nice instrument, so I don't have any fine tuners on the other strings. I'm going to be turning with the pegs, and I'm going to be listening to the fifths. The perfect fifth, which is the interval we tune to, should sound hollow. That does not sound hollow. The D string is slightly flat, so I'm going to take the peg, I moved it flatter, and I'm going to turn it up until I have a hollow sound. sharp there, flat, pretty good, and I'm going to make sure it stays by pushing the peg into the peg box. Now I'll do the G string, it's also flat.
sometimes in the summer it's hard to get the exact spot so you can put the instrument on your knee and you can tune the peg that way I think this is pretty close I will check the G is a flat slight bit sharp so what I'm going to do is pull the string out to lengthen it and now I have that hollow fifth always bow lightly and listen to the ringing it makes it easier to hear the um, fifths. Then the C is my final string. That's also flat. So bring it up. Too sharp. And now I have the nice sound. So I hope that's helpful to you. Again, if you have fine tuners on each string, using the cell phone app for each of the strings is helpful. You do need to know the names of your strings. You need to hit the exact letter A, D, G, or C. You, if it's really off, bring it to your teacher, but try your best to tune your instrument yourself. It's a wonderful skill, something you need to know how to do as you become a more advanced player. Good luck and thanks.